G'day, welcome to Partakers Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 28th of November 2011. Today, once more, we have Jim and Joy sharing with us. Over to you, Jim. Job said, Test me and I shall come forth as pure gold. In Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 19, we read, My God shall supply all your needs. Many think this verse means we can simply ask God for anything and it will come our way. If you look at the verse in its correct setting, you will discover it is tied to a condition. Paul is commending the Christians at Philippi for their faithfulness in meeting others' needs and their willingness to go without themselves in order that others are helped by their giving. He says in effect, God will never allow you to go without when you give sacrificially as you are doing. Each new week brings its own challenges and sometimes the cost seems too much for us. We love our comfort zone and shrink back. We can either ignore it and bury our heads in the sand or accept the challenge and see something quite remarkable happen. Maybe you are being challenged on your financial giving, either to your church or someone in need is on your heart and you're unsure of whether you should give to them. A while ago, I was challenged in a missionary meeting as to whether I gave a single coin or a £10 note. The £10 note was earmarked for my food expenses at work later that week. As the plate drew near, I had to make a quick decision. Was the £10 note going back in my pocket? No, I put the £10 note on the plate. I can honestly say, in that manner of giving, I have never looked back, or have to question in any way whether it was the right thing to do or not. God has always given to me far, far more than I have ever given to him. He promises to open the windows of heaven and pour out such blessings that we can never have enough space for. We'll find that passage of scripture in the book of Malachi, where he says those things. This week, it may not be money that God is testing you about. It may be the use of your God-given gifts, your time, or your hospitality. Notice I have used the word your time, your hospitality. Is anything our very own? Have we not given our very lives to Jesus Christ? If he is Lord of Lords, then he is Lord of our lives, which is his correct place. We are required to be obedient to him and give our very selves willingly to him as he provides for us opportunities to please him as he continues to please us. God does test us regularly over what we profess with our mouths to be. What would Jesus do? If you've read the book In His Steps by Charles Sheldon, there are several excellent examples of those who did walk under the Lordship of Christ. They suffered gladly for Jesus and followed Christ unashamedly, counting not their own lives as their own, but following in Jesus' footsteps. You may remember the five martyrs in 1956, including Jim Elliott and Nate Sainty, a true heroes of mine who lost their lives in the Ecuadorian jungle to headhunters. They lost their lives, but they didn't lose the battle for the souls they were seeking to save. Their very widows went back into the jungle after them, seeking to win those men for Christ. And whereas their husbands had sacrificially given their lives they gave the gospel message out to those tribes people and many in that tribe were gloriously saved they were saved and they went into full time Christian work some to be missionaries some to be pastors many were saved because five young men sacrificially laid their lives on the altar for God The widows followed the example of Christ and gave their lives in the service of those people in the jungle. My, 
when they tested, but they came forth as fine gold. What is God challenging you over this week? May God help you and me take the right path. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we are such weak vessels, and at times feel so vulnerable to the temptations in this life and sometimes feel we would rather settle for a lesser Christian life and experience and stay in your own private comfort zone. We do not like to be challenged and would rather be stay at home Christians but have a quiet life free from anxiety. We would rather someone else went to Africa and served you there we would rather someone else answer the call to be a missionary in London or a minister in Soho. We may be called to wash others' feet, but would rather they wash ours. Forgive us for our withdrawal. Please give us courage and a fresh sight of Jesus as both our Saviour and example. He set his face like a flint towards Calvary. His view was on the cross and its victory over sin, death and the devil. Some have suggested he stumbled in Gethsemane. When he prays, If it be your will, let this cup pass from me. But then he regained his composure and strength from angels above, enabled him to continue and say, Nevertheless, your will, my father be done. Take up your cross and follow me, Jesus said. Help me, Lord. Your will be done. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Think Spot. See you again real soon.